going on guys, 24-7 Tech here, and if you guys remember last year, around this time, Fitbit, has re Fitbit released the Fitbit Ace, it was a fitness tracker for kids, and now they have a follow-up, the Fitbit Ace 2. Join me and watch what, what the differences are between the 1 and the 2 in this video. As always, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to watch some more awesome tech videos in the future. As I said in the clip before, guys, take one second out of this video to subscribe down below. Every subscriber makes a difference and every subscriber counts. Okay, let's get on to the topic. Now, what's new? The design. The design is a more kids-like rug design. I feel like it's more gentle design because the other one was like a Fitbit Alta, as you can see right here. The old, let's, over here I have the Fitbit Ace 1 and the Fitbit Alta. It look really similar and this looks flimsy and would you give this to a six-year-old? Not really. The Fitbit Ace 2, as you can see right here though, is much more rugged and it's more durable than the first gen and it's more of a kid's fitness tracker in general. Second one is the colors are now different. There is a, I quote, watermelon teal class color as you can see right here. It's a pinkish, blue, tealish uh, accent color. And another one is a night sky slash neon yellow class. So it's like a bluish green type um, color. Let's talk about two game changing features I think which is really cool that uh, Fitbit brought. So the first one is a touch screen. Before it used to be you have to like knock on the display and you have to whack on it. And what is in my personal use, it didn't seem as user friendly as you can see right here. When you, it doesn't work if you just tap it normally, you have to sort of yank it to see the other stats. Now it's a fluid touch screen, so I think it's much more easy for kids, it's not as annoying. The second one is um, call alerts. I don't, they, that feature was not there before, and now you can link this to a smartphone. So if you have a child who owns a smartphone, um, you get, they can get a call alert on their wrist, So, but you cannot answer it, by the way. You cannot answer it, it you get just get the alert. I think you can decline it or accept it, but then you do have to talk from your phone. Now, what has changed from the Fitbit Ace 1 to the new Fitbit Ace 2? Now, the first thing is, uh, more it's a more kid-friendly device. So, the Fitbit Ace 1 used to be recommended for 8 years or older. Now, the Fitbit Ace 2 is for 6 years and older. So, the audience is growing for the Fitbit and they want to ex expand so more kids can use it. The second one is the price. The price used to be $99 for the Fitbit Ace 1, now it is a much more reasonable $69 for the Fitbit Ace 2, a $30 decrease, which is actually quite an amount. And it is good because, I mean, I wouldn't spend $100 on a fitness tracker for a, for a child, for children, but $69 to $70 is a much less cheaper price and it's much more viable for people to spend that much money for the, on their kids. The last thing is Fitbit has added some new modes to the Fitbit Ace. So when you hit your fitness goals or one who can t or people who can take the most steps, you can compete against your family. It shows some new features such as the monsters, plants and rocket ships. And surprisingly for a kid, that's sort of what they all want. It's so nice just seeing a rocket ship on your fit and fitness tracker. I mean, imagine how cool that would be. That just makes a difference for the child. It might not make a difference to you, but for them that's probably the best feature in the whole device itself. Alright, so what are my thoughts on the Fitbit Ace 2? I think it's a pretty nice product and it's really nice especially since the price drop and it sort of differentiated itself from the rest of the Fitbit lineup. Now Fitbit has become a little more organized I think because before it used to be like wait this looks like the Alta but it's not the Alta but what should I buy? Now I feel like they've separated it since the Ace 2 is its own product niche and it's for kids and it's a really good product for kids and it's all that they need. What they need is to track steps, they need to track uh, how much sleep they get and the best thing for them is it should be a little fun, you know? Re reaching your workout goals and watching a rocket ship fly on your fitness tracker is pretty cool in my opinion and I think that's what makes it one of the best fitness trackers to give to your kids. Overall, this product is a win. It's really good and I think this gets an easy 9 to 9.5 out of 10 since it's such a solid product. It gets what you need right. It doesn't get it gives you a little more than what you need and that's nice cuz you want always you want those extra features. Thanks for watching guys. It's 24/7 Tech signing out and I'll catch you in another video, but before you before you go, please subscribe down below. Every subscriber makes a difference. Thank you for watching.